Hello everybody, my name is Mersk and welcome back to Pop Goes. We had so much fun playing this last time that I thought it would be great to play it again. Now, disclaimer, I've already played through the next three nights. I thought my recording was pretty bad and my commentary was a bit icky, so I want to try it again. There's a lot you will miss and I'll put in like little snippets, little, little stuff that you can see. But last video, we died from the badger. I know how to solve him now. I know how to keep the weasel at bay. They know weasel's gonna be sneezing on me. Hello? Okay, there we are. Oh, I've already forgot the controls to this game. Goodness. Uh, well, bye then. Now, you can see which room he's entering on the camera. So he's entering room okay. five. We gotta shut that down. Is that I wrong? Did I wrong that? that I oh no, I got that right. Nah, because I'm genius. I said that the heaters in the vents stayed on for a minute when you turned them on. In reality, I made it closer to like nine seconds. Oh, good job. You're dumb. Sorry about that. Not a huge mistake, but I should own up to it anyway. It's one of the only things I haven't got written down. I should actually make a note of it now, I suppose. I'm kind of tired right now. I've been doing all these calls in one take, so I've just noticed it. Such a huge difference, too. Pretty cool. One minute, there you are. Get out of here. Hey, now that you've been five, here, we can check that here in a bit. Correct. Good idea. Beginning so. your third one now, yes? Tell me, what do you think about the place? The pizzeria, I mean. It's real special. Let me tell you, during the day, you can really feel it. The fantasy. Again. The fun. Safety, you know? Kids can run down the halls and be greeted by the characters. They gather around and sing with them on the stage. They build and print out these figurines like posable toys. Well, and of course, Look I get three. to coat them in a binding agent, etc. Makes them feel oh, grown wait for the heat to come off. Special, you know? <laughs> I remember this kid one day. Totally heartwarming. There was this kid. Seven. He was running around and somehow managed to open one of the locked rooms. Server room, I think it was, and he where started messing around. Where is he? Well, I was where is he? Like always, where? So Turn, please. I start to get a little worried. Now, here we go again. I'm saying to myself, uh, and I was bye. about to go get him sorted See out ya. myself, but right then, as I'm taking my jacket off, Blake, wouldn't want to be you. Badger character to your left gets in the room with the kid and starts to play a little game using the server room's monitor. Have you, mm -hmm. you know? You know the game Simon Set? Yep. Well, it was like that. Well aware. Uh, oh, hold on now. I'll sort the rest out later. Okay. I'll leave this message here. The option should be up for you now. Sorry about this. What does Simon say? Nothing major, just really. Doing? My brother was just asking me who I was talking to. I've told you about him, right? The order of these calls might be a bit confusing. Later. Oh, it depends okay. on how I organize them. Brother. But speaking of the order, I think I'll also leave an option to finish oh, up that story. Brother. And this one should be to explain why I left, just so you don't get suspicious that I'm hiding anything from you. As I said on the first night, I'm trying to be as transparent as possible with my business here, so covering stuff up from my employees obviously wouldn't do. Right, I think that's it for tonight. Good luck on your shift. Okay, bye-bye. Can I boop you? No. So, the game loop is pretty easy from here, except for where, where, where Badger shows up. Badger's a big... A big wrench in my plan, uh, wrench in my loop, the fruits in my loop. Cause he just shows up and does whatever he likes, like right now. Uh, blue, you, three, check, shut down, vent, get ready for that to turn off. Heat, back here, go to room number three, be ready for him. Now, the game gets pretty easy, in my opinion. It seems pretty easy from there. Uh. Because I was just able to breeze through three nights in a row. It's going back in number six. Ah, yeah, catch him. I got him. Turn back on the heat. I don't know who that character is out there, and he's very, very discerning. Because why is he just there? Oh, uh, Weagle. And in my last playthrough, uh, something happened, I forgot what, but it had me 
Super scared. Super spooked. Super spooky, man. Like super. Super duper, bruh. So yeah, my last video, I was right. Since they cannot harm you, they are printing something to kill you. Which is pretty smart. I mean... You got the resources at hand. You got the plastic. You got the multiple 3D printers around the... Oh, no, the badger. Bye-bye. Oh, vent. Heat. You. Shut you down. Look out the window. Panic can kill you. The animatronics can kill you. The badger can kill you. Surprisingly enough. So can the weasel. Weirdly enough. And it's just your panic. I wonder if they like try to help you, but you end up getting a heart attack instead. That'd be really funny. That'd be hilarious. It's like that whole theory that was like, oh, Foxy and Five Nights at Freddy's one. He's only there to help you, but he scares you so bad you get a heart attack and die. I wonder if that's the same here. I don't, I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not a theorizer. I just play games. I appreciate the games made and I play them. What else? Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna be hard later. Oh no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, but it's already 3 a.m. What an awful time to be working, if you ask me. Oh, uh, the weagle. The, the weasel. What color? Blue? Uh, you? Turn on that. Oh, I'm panicking. Don't panic. That's not something you want to do. Ah, oh, panicking is so bad. Why do I get to panic? Oh my god, I'm stretching. Ah! Oh. That's a good stretch. Big stretch. Uh, boop. Uh, where did he go? Okay, he's going that way. Boop. These are really top of line 3D printers. They're able to print something big, like a whole arm within seconds. I think that's pretty cool. I think technology is coming to a point where it's like, bam, bam, product. Oh, hey, Badger. Where are you going? Going on a midnight stroll? Well, have fun. Now, yes, I was going to up. Oh, shit. Um, oh, no. Wait, hold on. Please. Pink, we got you. Okay, uh, what room is that? That number three, that's number three. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I've got a couple games lined up for you all. A lot of them look pretty good. A lot of shorter ones. We're gonna start a new series. Uh, I know, overplayed already, but... Random horror games. I know, right? Because that hasn't already been done before. But it's just so I can get these games out without having, like... 10 minute video because I really just want to have I I'm a big fan of longer videos I don't know if I've expressed that already because like there's nothing better than sitting down and enjoying a video for about 20 30 minutes to an hour because that shopping list video was long one of the games I do want to play eventually, I got the demo for it, but I don't have the full game, was that Backrooms 1999 one. That looks really good. I know uh, Jacksepticeye had a great time playing it. And honestly, it looks great. I love that old VHS and I love Backrooms. It's so, like, strange. Oh, um, Badger. Color? Blue. Down we got that. But I need games to play. And if you all recommend a game, that'd be great. I would love that. If you all would just, you know, 
spam me in the comments be like, Hey, I saw this game. You should play this one. This one's great. This one's awesome. I will be... I will be like, mm, maybe. No, but if definitely. If there's a game you like... Oh, well, you dick. If there's a game you'd like to see me play, I'd be willing to play it because I need more stuff to do. And I'm not uh, a big, like... Oh, uh, whoop de doo Here's this game I randomly found. Let's play it. I'm more of like seeing what other people play and being interested in it. Hey! Now we get to play a minigame. Yay. But anyways, I like seeing what other people are playing because it like it's... I like getting a glimpse of what I might get into. I was originally, my first video back was going to be the man from the window because I forgot who made them, but their games are absolutely genius. They're that sort of like, you have X amount of time to do this, that, that, survival-esque games. This style's a little bit large. I think it was like... I don't want to confuse him with the last guy we played. I want to say Zed Technician. His games are great. And I want to be able to play them. I want to play Man from the Window 2. I've already played through Man from the Window 1. I didn't get a good video for it because... Uh, it was just bad. <laughs> My commentary was horrible. But maybe I'll play it again. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Perhaps even the second one in the same video because I feel like I just breezed through that first one. And even maybe there, um, there was like Van Decker something. Van Decker curse. I think it was like a hotel that was shutting down. I don't know. I don't remember. Or at least they were trying to gain the property and they were refusing. Oh, this is the way we're supposed to go. Okay. But it's games like those that give me like, cause they're unique. Dude, you gotta do stuff. But I also want to be able to play older games too. What is this? Oh, that's the ice crow we keep seeing. Okay. Well, anyways, that aside. I want to also be able to play older games. Like, eventually, I want to play Five Nights at Freddy's. That is something that is on my list. But, due to my lack of, you know, moolah, I can't really do that quite yet. Um, that's, and I want to play older games such as Slender. I think that'd be fun. Amnesia would be good. Uh, is this the wrong way? This is the wrong way. Amnesia, uh... What was the other one? Subnautica, which I do have. This is that one other game. Uh, you're in space. It had the Alien movie. Alien, I, Alien Isolation. That one. I want to be able to play that one too. That'd be really fun. to just have a big old playthrough about. Blair Witch. I have that game too. There's a lot I have on my hands. But there's also games that I think I would like. To play that's been recommended by you if that makes sense to say but who knows if if uh i get enough love get enough thumbs up in the comments or whatever just in general i'll definitely do that for you all but for right now i'm gonna stick to the games that i find because nobody really comments except on my last video I don't know if you're watching this video, person who commented, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like, seriously, I do. I'm receiving a call. Red eyes. It's, I'm seeing things. What? Hello again. I've decided to take some breaks between recording these calls. Okay. Not many are left, but still, I didn't think it would be this stressful. Why is it I've lagging? I've got some notes, not a script or anything. I feel like I might be talking too much about things that are obvious for you, so I'm just going to wing this one. I think at this point you must be pretty confident with your job now. If yep. You can call it that. I think now might be a good time for you to know a little more about me. I okay. Think that you might be curious. Am I wrong? Right then. 
Oh, you Born dick. Born in November 1968 in Texas. Lived a fine life up until my teens. Had no real problems with my family, but we weren't exactly rich. My father was an architect at the time, and my mother stayed home with my brother and I. Until the 80s, we lived in a flat. Or, I suppose it would have been called an apartment over there. Mm -hmm. It was pretty decent. Actually. America. Honestly, I can't remember much. I had an accident in my teens. Stuff I really don't want to talk about. Please don't ask. Might explain in a later call or something if there is a t uh, time. Anyway, fortunately I survived the injury, believe it or not. It was all down to a very generous donor of blood. The whole thing was pretty strange and vague for us, and all I know is a small team of people, or maybe it was one person, was willing to give tons of blood to the hospital. How does the what? The procedure of signed papers, the transfusion was allowed on behalf of the procedure being an experiment. An I'm experiment death, or experiment on children. I lost most of my memory from How they get that much blood? Caused a huge stir in the media. Of course, the course it would. How would someone get that much blood? Unless you're running a bus. Yeah, I'm your best friend now. What do you want to talk about? Uh, what else have you made? Hmm. Well, this recording system is over five hours left on it, but I still don't think that's enough time to cover everything I've made. Ooh. It's been a hell of a good hobby for over a decade now. I'll try to go over some of the more interesting things, though. Uh, in 2019, I made a self-driving car in my garage. The technology isn't that impressive nowadays, I know, but oh. it was an amazing feat. It looked like garbage, but it worked. Since then, it's been modified to be road safe, and now my daughter uses it. Back in the late 90s, I made a few electric guitars, sold them to a secondary school, and in 2016, I made a video game with Bonnie's help. Hey. Bonnie's the name of my daughter, I'm sure if I mentioned a that. A video game? Oh yeah, and of course, I made the 3 Perhaps recently, which helped me a Five Nights at Freddy's style video, video game with a weasel? That's right, oh, shit. I don't think I should make oh, damn it. Now. You got that it. Clears it up. I've been a real busy guy, love creating things. See you on your fifth night. Okay, bye bye. Love you. Party emoji. I'm. I'm really fumbling here. Uh. Hey, buddy. Okay, well, you can chill there. I'm going to look back over here. Because I have bigger problems. I like that it also sort of gives you a chance to, um. To redeem yourself. Not really. It gives you a chance to just keep going I like that it's multiple body parts instead of like oh he already made it now you're screwed oh gotta turn on the heat to turn up the heat gotta calm down because my panic will kill me or well I won't die well what am I talking about where am I <laughs> whose house is this <laughs> I actually do like how original this game is, um, mechanic-wise. Yes, it's FNAF fan game, animatronics, and uh, overused by this point. But when this came out, it is, was, still pretty much is, an original concept, in a way. Yes, pizzeria, animatronics, we've already established that. But the controls itself is so different. Yeah, you have, you know, the sort of camera system. You have everything else. But the rest is different. You got vents you have to worry about. You have to, you know, keep an eye on shut down rooms. You're not really closing doors or anything. And I feel like that's a nice little refresher from the constant, Oh, you're stuck in an office. Oh, you gotta do this. That's why I also really like the joy of creation because you weren't necessarily stuck in an office. You're just, you know, stuck in an area, not an office though. There was definitely a different style of gameplay to it. And I just, ah, oh, I loved how it was in 3D too. You could actually move around and everything. And that was a big thing back when Five Nights at Freddy's first came out. Was that everybody was freaking out when, um... You know, a quote-unquote free roam FNAF game came out. Because they were like, oh, we can finally move. Oh, this is great. This is awesome. Uh, pink. Shut down. 
And I, I honestly was freaking out too, but then the fan games didn't look that good, in my opinion. There was one of Five Nights at Candy's. I remember that one. That one was great. I played that one on my old computer, <laughs> but it could still run stuff. That one was fun. I'm not going to play that here because I don't want to be a specifically FNAF fan game channel. I want to do a lot of stuff here. I want to be able to play just any horror game I please. Oh shit. Oh no. I also want to do other stuff like in real life videos if I ever- <sighs> English is hard. If I ever overcome my just- my dislike for my own face, I would love to do in life videos. I'm still trying to overcome my dislike for my voice, but I don't shut down that. That is what time I just have to accept it. Because in the end, really, who does like their voice? You know? Uh, go here, red, I hate red, go back here, go into room three. I'm just too good at this game. Like, oh my gosh. I'm amazing. I wonder if I could ever beat it without them collecting any arms or any vent progression. Maybe that's something I'll do. But, oh wait, not even five nights, it's just Pop Goes. Oh, and I do like that title too, just Pop Goes. Who cares about five nights? We can be here for 20. Who cares? The paycheck. The paycheck's like, oh, that paycheck be good. That'd be paying the bills and everything else. Makes me wonder if there was a job like that in real life, how like swamped it would be with applications. That paycheck is nasty. Gosh. Especially for what, it's 12 to six only six hours uh oh the badger yellow boop i wonder what would happen if we got it wrong i kind of want to find out but at the same time don't bam calm down look out the window such beautiful scenery oh man the dark void that is outside this pizzeria is so beautiful now, whatever that is, I don't know if he's ever supposed to come. Come. He's ever supposed to, you know, turn on or attack or anything. I could have sworn I saw something in the past about him approaching. And I could have sworn there was a whole lot more here. Could be in the second game. I know there is a second one. I probably would. But Chica! What are you doing here? What is this? A crossover episode? And I also kind of like how- Oh, well, he moved. I also kind of enjoy how the creator here tried tying in this game's lore with the lore of FNAF. Oh. Ew. Okay, calm down because we've been on the cameras for too long. I'm almost contemplating doing night five here too. The night five was actually really easy as well. I don't think I died at all, and I don't think there was any new mechanics introduced. I'm trying to think back on if there was. I don't think so. I could save Night 5 for its own video. Maybe. 
depending on how hard it is. Then do six and seven for their own video. I think that'd be great. Or I could do five and six for the next one. Then I could do seven for its own. Or I increase the difficulty to max. What is this? That's the blood. What am I seeing? Anyways, uh... Yeah, so I could probably do 5 and 6 for the next video, then 7 for its own. Don't sound bad. Then I could do Pop Goes 2, I forgot the actual name for it. Which, that'll be fun as well. I really can't wait. There's a lot of stuff I want to play, a lot of stuff I want to do. I'm just still trying to get a basis for YouTube, because right now I'm really bad at commentary, if you couldn't tell. I am extremely horrible at talking and entertaining. But that is something that comes with time. YouTubing is not, you know, luck. It is a skill. Hey, Mangle. Bye, Mangle. Uh... But, oh my god. Oh, I'm stretching. We're actually gonna... Yeah, we're gonna skip out on this night. So, anyways. I just want to finish up what I was saying. Yes, I would love to play a lot more games for you guys. Just please recommend some, because I really have no idea what to play. I do have a couple on my list, such as... Mr. Hop's Playhouse Juniors, I'm Scared. A Glitched Attraction 2, I think I've already mentioned that one. Those are a few I want to play at some point, but I want to get through one series at a time. I know I haven't finished the Joy of Creation story mode. I've been really just sad on that for a good bit. I probably won't finish it. We'll see. We'll definitely see. But anyways, that has been Pop Goes. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other ones. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.